Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Monkle Zonky here. So I wanted to make a, I guess you could call this a guide today. Um, kind of some advice for low level players. Before I begin, there's a couple things I need to say. First of all, if you're a high level player, if you have a ton of money, if you have all your Bible skills done, this guide is not for you. This advice is not for you. Completely disregard it. You're doing fine as you are, and you're not really going to need the rest of the content in your, this video. You're, you can feel free to watch it if you'd like, but it's not going to be useful for you. Second of all, if there's something in this game that you've desperately wanted for a very, very long time and it's worth it to you to buy this certain item, don't let me stop you. Don't let what I say for the rest of the video rest of the video dissuade you. This is just more of a guide for players who tend to waste their money and then um, ha really struggle making money later on in the game because they didn't invest their money wisely to make it easier to make money in the long run. So what this guide is about is I'm going to be telling you guys what you want to spend your money on. If you're a low level, you've got your first, say, 100 mil, you worked really hard to get it, and you're going to go out there and spend all that money on a Virtus set and do a ton of PVM and make a ton of money. Well, sorry to tell you, but there are some down points to spending your money on certain things um, that are not going to help you make more money in the long run. So if you really struggle to make your first 100 mil, 200 mil, whatever you have, um, I can help you make some decisions that will really make it easier in the long run to make more money and grow your bank. So first of all, I know I've probably been saying this for years like a broken record but i would recommend to keep some cash for flipping if you don't know how to flip look up a guide later on in the video i'll show you a couple items that don't cost too much so if you have a hundred mil cash or even just fifty mil cash um, you can flip these items for pretty good profit if you have any less cash than that i would recommend just looking up a flipping guide if you're interested in how to do it there's about ten million of them on youtube right now um, some of them are better than others but there are a few out there that are out there that are actually pretty good and can really help you get started with flipping. Um, I do have a couple myself, although they're really old and they may have been deleted from YouTube by right now. I can't guarantee it, so I may end up making an updated flipping guide in the future, but I don't really want to just because there's so many out there already. So certain things like neck sets and spirit shields, those are just some examples of things that might look cool. They might be able to good be a good way to show off to your friends how much money you have in this game um, when you're a low level. But don't buy these. It's a waste of money. It's going to make it harder for you to gain money in the long run because you could buy certain things that will make it easier to kill bosses, um, easier to do PVMing and earn money that way. Um, something like a Virtus robe set is not going to help you with that very much at all or a spirit shield. It's just not going to help and it's not worth it. So if you really desperately want those items, I'd recommend until you have enough money to not have to worry about what you're going to spend on next and then feel free to buy them. It's your money, it's your choice. Just don't buy them right away with your first huge cash pile. So the first two major purchases I would recommend, these are the first two things that I really spent my bank on, is Turmoil and Herb Lore. So Turmoil is 95 prayer, it costs a lot of dragon bones to get there. I just put some rough price estimates up there because how much it costs depends on how you train it, and also it just depends on current prices which change all the time, so there's not really any set price you can go to. If you want to figure out how much prayer costs, uh, there are prayer calculators on the internet. If you don't know how to use them, feel free to maybe ask someone in my friends chat. If I'm online, I can do it for you. If I'm not, I'm sure someone in the friends chat would be nice enough to help you. Um, and they can just figure out how many dragon bones you need to get that 95 prayer. Turmoil helps because you also get the soul split ability, which helps a ton. Soul Split is even more useful than Turmoil is because it just requires a lot less food when you're killing most bosses, uh, the bosses that you can use Soul Split against, and it also helps a ton if you want to do Slayer because it means you don't have to bank for food during tasks. And of course, the Extreme Potions and the Super Anti-Fire Potion that you get while training Herbal are help a ton as well, and then the Overloads are just absolutely necessary if you need to do some high-level bossing, so the Herbal skill is incredibly useful as well. It's a little more expensive than Turmoil, and I'd recommend if you want to spend money, spend money on prayer first, but Herblore is also incre incredibly useful. Now the next two things here are also going to help you out a lot with your boss killing and slaying experiences. First of all is the Drygores. Now I just want to say, if you really do struggle to make money, if you find it very hard, if you don't have the motivation to flip and gain money that way, 
um, and if you just really struggle to make money otherwise, I would recommend to buy the Drygors even before you buy any prayer experience or herbler experience just because you can kill monsters so much faster with them that you're going to be getting drops a lot faster however if you don't have too much of a time making money or if you're willing to put in the time and effort to flip and gain money that way i'd recommend getting prayer and herbler first it just really depends on how you play the game yourself and also summoning it comes last after all these things because it's not quite as useful but the pack yak familiar is just one of the most useful things in game it's not going to help you kill bosses faster most of the time but you can last at bosses longer and also while you're doing slayer tasks you'll make a lot more money because you can bank all your bones um, and if you're spending time using a war tortoise to bank bones and ashes and stuff like that it'll be much faster with the pack yak so that's also going to help you make more money in the long run I cannot stress this point enough, but flipping is the best way in the entire game to use your money that you already have to make more money. And the amazing thing about it is it requires hardly any effort. The actual time spent to make money with flipping is by far the best in the game unless you get very lucky with staking. And the reason why that is is even because you only, even with 100 mil, you're only going to be making maybe 2 or 3 mil an hour, but you only spend about 2 or 3 minutes at the Grand Exchange setting your flip items, then you leave and you're off to do other things. So that's only 2 or 3 minutes spent to make a couple mil. It really depends. Uh, the more you flip, the better you'll get at it and the more money you will make. But I just decided to include some starter medium level items here. Um, these are items that I flipped when I was around 100 mil cash and they were pretty useful. Um, Dragon hatchets are one of my favorite things to flip in the game because they buy and sell very fast. And from flipping uh, 10 hatchets you can usually make anywhere between 600k to a mil per flip. And you can do that once every 4 hours. And it only takes about 15-20 minutes to do that. Um, and it takes hardly any of your time, so for a free up to one mil um, for just a couple minutes of your time, why not? Um, also, mahogany planks are great at times. Oak and teak planks also work pretty well. Um, barrow sets flip pretty well most of the time. And God Wars items, not the bandos, chestplate, and tacits, because so many people flip those that you just hardly won't make anything on them. But really, um, most of the other God Wars items, you can make a fair amount of money flipping them. So these are items I flipped when I was uh, at a lower cash amount, and uh, they helped me out a lot. And these are just, I just tried to include some recommendations that not everyone knows about, and everyone is flipping that does flipping, um, just to help you guys out. So that's about all for this video. If you are a slightly newer player, or a player that hasn't put a whole lot of time into this game, and you only have, you know, 100, maybe 200 mil bank that you worked for months or years to achieve, um, I hope these guidelines can help you out a bit. Just know that things like next sets are not going to help you make more money. Uh, yes, you might do a tiny bit more damage at the boss, be at any boss because of the damage boost. They might protect you a little bit better than, say, Bandos or Armadil. But in the long run, they're really not going to help you out all, their, all that much, and they're mostly just to, I guess, look cool, and for people that have plenty of money and don't have to worry about saving up for stuff. But anyway, um, that's about all for this video, and if you work really hard, maybe one day you'll be able to finish off all your buyable skills and have enough le money left over to just goof off and buy random stuff like Ascension Crossbows and really be able to do just crazy things and whatever you want with your money. But anyway, that's about all for this video. Hopefully it helped. Join my friends chat in-game, which is Monkle Zunky, and farewell.